Live from KQED News, I'm Brian Watt. The San Francisco Police Department has lost roughly 100 officers in the last six months, and it's short well over 400 sworn officers in total. That's what police officials are expected to tell San Francisco supervisors today. They say COVID vaccine mandates drove a recent surge in resignations. But SFPD Commander Nicole Jones told the city's police commission last night that it's part of a broader trend. In terms of the people who are resigning, that is something that was already happening. Yes, COVID gave it an uptick within the last year, but that was a trend that we had already been experiencing and should not be entirely attributed to COVID. SFPD officers were going to be required to get a booster shot, but the police chief says public health officials recently exempted the department from that mandate. Many other police departments around the country have been dealing with similar staffing issues. The Port of Oakland is welcoming its first tenant to the Seaport Logistics Complex. KQED's Nina Thorson reports. The logistics complex is built on what used to be a supply depot back when the area at the foot of the Bay Bridge was the Oakland Army Base. The new tenant, San Leandro-based PCC Logistics, is taking over a 460,000-square-foot warehouse to transfer cargo between international and domestic shippers. That will make Oakland one of very few points of entry in the U.S. where this process takes place within the footprint of the port itself, not off-site. The port says this marks the completion of the first phase of the Oakland Army Base redevelopment. The base was decommissioned in 1999. I'm Nina Thorson, KQED News. And I'm Brian Watt. Good afternoon, and thanks for listening.